the next pair alveolar fricative so alveolar fricative we are familiar with alveolar plosives like t d t d in the in the alveolar plosives the tip of the tongue touching the teeth ridge or alveolar ridge <coughs> here the tip touching the teeth ridge or alveolar ridge <coughs> here in alveolar fricative The tip of the tongue makes a slight contact with the teeth ridge in which there is a narrow gap. The air from the lungs reaches the oral cavity and the soft palate is raised preventing the nasal passage of air. It escapes through the narrow gap between the tip of the tongue and the teeth ridge producing a hissing sound. Okay. Very much similar to alveolar plosives the only difference is instead of a firm contact there is a slight contact there is a narrow gap so that there can escape producing an audible friction <coughs> the two alveolar fricatives s and z in the case of s the occal cords are far apart leaving a narrow gap the air can escape through the gap without vibrating the occal cords so s can be described as a voiceless alveolar the articulating organs are the alveolar ridge and the tip of the tongue so it's an alveolar the manner of articulation fricative and in the case of z the vocal cords lying close together the air escapes after vibrating the vocal cords so z can be described as oist alveolar fricative s occurs initially as sit Cell, cell, saint, sing. Medially as assert, ask, fast, mist, cluster, and finally as bus, pass, lace, nice, face. Z occurs initially as zest, zone, zoo, zero. Zinc, medially as desire, reason, busy, musing, puzzle, and finally as bus, leaves, rose, docks, birds.